You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to solve a problem involving enlarging and reducing of a given figure. And the question goes like this. It says, enlarge and reduce in given proportion of 4 is to 7 and 4 is to 2 of the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. So what I'll do is take my meter rule, my T square and C square working hand in hand and I'll draw a vertical line this way. You can see that? And I'll pick a point. Let's say I am picking this point this way. To that point I'm picking, I'll now measure a height since the figure is given from here to here is 30. I'm going to measure the distance of 30. That point will be my reference point. So let me say that point is my point A. Right, yours can be anything. So from this point, let me take it up so you see what I'm doing. So from this point, from zero to thirty, now I'll call it my point what? Point B. And I'll draw another horizontal line there at point B. Reason is that will form 90 degree, right? And we're giving 75 degree at both ends. So what you do is between here and here is 90 and between here and here is 90. And when you remove 90 from 75, you'll be left with what, 15 degree. So that's why I'll measure 15 degrees. So I'll place my compass, my com my protractor on that line, allow the center point here to be the same as this. So this, the, we are, I'll align it together this way. And 0, 10, this is 15. Can you see that? I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing. Align this point to this point A here. I'll be having 0, 10, this is also what 15. This is where both of them meet. I'll just draw my line from this point, faint line, to pass through that point. From here also, faint line, to pass through that point. That again. And I'm going to measure the same distance. I'm not going to measure. I'll just take my compass and take the distance from here since everything is um, 30 from B to C, 30, then A to D, 30. Right? From here to here. Same thing I'm saying from here to here. So I'll just stick in all those points that I have. So from here. I'll take in it from this point to this point. From this point to this point. And from this point to this point. And from here to here. This is what we have. So I'll say this A, B, and let me see here to be my C, then here to be my D, right? So what I'll simply do, I'll just select a point, any given point. Let me reduce the size back to where it was before, right? So I'll just pick a point, any point of my choice, maybe at this point here. I'll call that point to be my point P. Make it big. So that will be where I start viewing this object from. So I'll just take my instrument, my ruler, and I'll join from P passing through B. From P passing through C. This method I'm doing is called the radial line method. From P Passing through A, and from P passing through D. Right. So once I've done that, I'll not draw another extra line this way. Any radius, given radius, I'll just draw it. 
from here let's draw your line can you see that and i'll take my compass at any given radius and i'll start marking so from zero any given radius i'll just put it at p i'll mark this will be one this will be two this will be three this will be four this will be five this will be six and this will be what seven reason is we have our highest value we have here is what is seven right but what they have in common is four so let's just see if i start naming them my point one my point two my point three my point four point five point six and what point seven is that again so what i will do is since what they have in common is four i'm going to join four together this way four to b right i can join four to b let me put it this way four to b four to b you can see that and i'll join it so once i've joined it using your line division method I'll just take my other instrument, I'll place it here, ensuring that I did not move this, and I'll start moving this along this part here. So this will be the next point. This will be the next point. And this will be the next point. And I'll click on here also to this point to five. To six to seven. Can you see that? So what we have here, I wanna start. Since I said four to seven, four to seven, right? I'll go to the point of seven, place my instrument at that point, and I'll lift this up upward this way where b touch a because this b here will not be what b prime here will be what a prime right i want to get c c is on this line here so will i get c it's as simple as this i'm going to bring my point my line down faint line from c i'll bring it downward this way faint line to touch here right where it touch here i will not take my compass from point b here right from point b here and take it to that point it touches here right to this point and another draw a semi circle as in an arc on that point so where it touches that point i can just call it maybe q right where it touches here i can just call it maybe t depending on what you want so what i'll do is I'll now draw a line that will pass from P through Q this way out together. Then the next thing I'll do is I'll now extend here, just like this one is extended. I'll extend it this way, paint line. Now, this is B, this is B. Remember that I use this point to here to get this right so i'll come here and use this point to get back t i hope you understood what i'm doing place it this way right and i'm going to do that from here to this point so i've used p q so i'll come i'll come here to be my q prime i can call it to be my t prime right depending on what you want to do so you see I use this to get this in turn I use this to get this back so from that point there I'm going to elevate this guy so we know that B is touching C and this is the line of C so I'll just take this to line of C well I won't take it I'll just extend this to this point Is that again it's going to be faint line right just like this is a faint line then I'll just join from B to what to see where this meets will be my c 
prime right similarly c is touching d here and this is the line of d i'll move this to touch d this is my what my d prime and i'll connect d to e and that is my what my e prime are we together now we've done four right is to what is to seven now is now four is to two so i'll go to the line of two right and i'll take it up so if this is a um, b this is b prime then the line of two here at this point we b prime prime so i'll take it up to get my a prime prime so this is my a prime prime because this is the line of a now I'll do the same thing i did here i'll just extend this line down well this way right so since this is q prime this is q and here will be what my q prime prime where it meets this line here can you see that so i'll use that line from here since i use b to get this point here can you see so I'll use that line from here from B prime prime to Q prime prime. Hope you can see that. And I'll take it to that point there. So I'll take it to this line here. That'll give me my T prime prime. So this is the T prime prime here. To get logic. So now since I move T to C, so I'll move T prime prime the line of c faint line you can see that which i cannot take in I cannot take in this also i cannot take this up and i cannot bring this down so this is c prime c this will be c prime prime depending on how you start with can label number them anyway you want to number them and this will be what d prime prime so this is what we have here this isn't what they were told to do i think you know so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching